Welcome to your stretch and release class. This is all about tension, relax, tension, release today. So let's do some breathing exercise before we start. We're going to inhale, bring our shoulders towards the ears. Exhale, open up the chest and squeeze the shoulder blades down. Inhale, shoulders towards the ears. Exhale, open and down. One more in and out, gently closing your eyes. Leaning a bit forward and a bit backwards to find the point where your spine is tall and straight. Deeply in, expand the belly, expand the chest. Exhale, contract the belly, breathing all the air out. Deeply in. And deeply out. If it's difficult to concentrate, put one hand onto the belly and one hand onto the ribs so you feel the movement. Inhale for two, three, four. Exhale for two, three, four. Deeply in. And deeply out. On your wrong pace, five more breaths. One last breath. Relax the breath. Intention setting. This week's theme, it's letting go for new things to come into your life. Could be about letting go, could be about the new, could be about redirecting energy. Pick an intention that serves you. With the intention in mind, we are going to sing Suri Om to start the class deeply in. Om. Second Om. Gently open up your eyes. We're going to start today with our classic cat cow. So come to knees onto the mat. Pat your knees as we're going to be here for like a little while. If you know you have sensitive knees. 
So I'm just going to adjust the camera a tiny bit. Yes, when you are ready. Knees underneath your hips, hands underneath your shoulders. Yes, internal elbow rotation, yeah? Inhale, arch the back, roll the shoulder back, open up the chest. We're going to stay here for three breaths. I want you to roll the shoulders three times. Inhale, shoulders to what to use. Exhale, peel the heart forward, shoulders back and chest open. Second, inhale, roll the shoulders towards the ears, then open up the chest again. Arch your back, squeeze the trapeze muscles, shoulder blades together. One more, inhale, roll the shoulders towards the ears and back. Yes, peel your heart forward. This is where you will need to be in your cat. How beautiful. Exhale, curl from your neck, upper back, mid back, and lower back. Deeply in. Open the chest, arch your back. Fallen, you need a bigger stand. You need the hands to be further away. Yes. Exhale, curl from your neck, upper back, mid back, and lower back. On your wrong pace, deeply in. Roll the shoulders up, back, and down. Peel the heart. Squeeze the back. Exhale, curl. Four more rounds on your own. Sing the movement with the breath so you can go further. When you finish your last one, untuck the toes, toes together, open up the knees, come to your first child pose. Lengthen the lower back, stretch your hands further away. We are coming to an active shoulder stretch in your child pose. So um, fingers onto the mat, lift the palms up. Lengthen the shoulders, deepening the inhale. Imagine you're trying to press the shoulders onto the mat. Lift the palms up even more. Press, press, press the shoulders onto the mat. Now sink your hips back and down. One more in. Slide the fingertips further away. Hips back and down and exhale. Relax the arms. Come to a relaxing child pose. When you are in your child pose, just gently roll the forehead, roll on your forehead. So your neck is having a very gentle opening on rolling to the left. Rolling to the right, very slow and gentle. The first warm up of our neck. What is the trick to the deepest stretch? It's your breath. Sing the movement with your breath. Last inhale. And exhale. Beautiful, coming back to the tabletop position. Knees underneath the hips, hands underneath the shoulders. You could check them, just turn your head to the webcam to check that you have the right stand. If you have, uh, just to demonstrate, if you have a really close stand, your butt will naturally arch. If you have it too far away, you will naturally curl. So really put it underneath the shoulder so you have this neutral spine. 
Beautiful. We are going to do three more cat cow. Inhale, arch your back, open up the chest. Roll the shoulders up and down, arch yourself. Exhale, curling in. Bring the chin towards the chest. Really focus on your neck, push your hands further away. Inhale, chest open, chin up, 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 open up the neck. Exhale, curling down, chin towards the chest. Look at the belly button, push your hands further away. One more, in. And out. Now look beyond, look at your hands. You're going to visually mark a point in between the two hands and then your shoulders is going to go there. So inhale, lift the right hand up. Thread the right hand underneath the left armpit, but put the shoulders in between the hands, the point that you have marked just now. And slide the left hands forward. Making sure your spine is long and straight. If you feel that it's difficult to breathe, slide the um, shoulders forward. Deepening the inhale. Hold it there, press the left shoulders down. Beautiful, in and out. Press the left shoulders down even more for one last big breath in and out slowly coming up and press yourself back to a child pose just for three breaths deeply in and deeply out deeply in and deeply out. One more in. And out. Beautiful. Coming up to a tabletop position again. We're coming to the other side. Beautiful. Inhale, lift the left hands up. Exhale, thread the left hand underneath the right shoulders. Put the left shoulders down. Stretch the right shoulders forward and right hand slide forward. Deeply and release the left shoulders. Relax the left shoulders. Pressing the right shoulders as close to the mat as possible in every exhale. Deeply in. And deeply out. Deeply in. And deeply out by stopping the blood flow in the left shoulders with your weight now. Later when you release, there's a lot of blood flushing that part. So it will flush all the trapped attention away. Slowly coming back to a three part, three breath child pose. Deeply impressing the hips down. You could be in a relaxing child pose, or you could be in an active shoulder stretch by lifting the shoulders up and stretch back, whatever version of child pose that serves you. Then when you're ready, we're going to do a child pose variation to open up the shoulders. We're going to join our hands together, elbows onto the mat, and bend the elbows. Bring the hands onto the back of our head or back of our neck. And this whole time, try to press the shoulders down so you feel an amazing opening. Five breaths here. 
You could be in stillness or try pressing the right shoulder down, left shoulder down, right shoulder down, left shoulder down, maybe both of them down. Inhale, exhale, relax. Inhale, press, exhale, relax. Inhale, press, exhale, relax. One more in. And now, beautiful, slowly walking the body up. Let's open up top of our chest, knees together, sit like a Japanese woman. Hands onto the side and onto the back. With your fingers pointing forward, you will find a position. If it's like directly under, see how does your shoulders feel. Roll the chest open, open up the front of the chest. One more in. And out, we'll have three breaths here. Now walk your palms further away, feeling the deeper wrists and shoulders opening. Press the front of the chest away, deeply in. And out. If you're already feeling five, stay here. If you want to last breath, you could walk even further away, but listen to the body. Open up the palms and press it onto the mat. Closer shoulders, one more in. And out, slowly walking yourself back. Beautiful. Coming to one last cat cow. This time something different. We are going to slide our hands, sit into child pose with the knees like parallel, feet parallel. Stretch your hands as further away as possible. Then when you are ready, the biggest motion of our cat cow version, elbows onto the mat. Notice that the hands is parallel to the shoulders. Inhale, bring the torso forward an inch off the mat. Straighten the hands and pelvis down. Exhale, curl from your neck, upper back, mid back, lower back, press back to child pose. Sit the hips down, beautiful. Inhale, elbows onto the mat, slowly coming forward. Straighten the arms, pelvis forward. Exhale, curl from your neck, upper back, mid back, lower back, push back to child pose, slide your hands further away, hips further away, feeling the length of the spine. Inhale, elbows onto the mat, coming forward. Pelvis down, release the belly so the pelvis could be down. Exhale, curling from the neck, upper back, mid back and lower back. Just two more wave, inhale. Roll the shoulders back and down, release the pelvis, beautiful, exhale. Push back to child pose. One more wave in. sitting back. Beautiful. Push yourself up into a sitter position. We're going to work on our neck. So our neck stretch. Let's start with something simple. Interlace the fingers. Put the interlace fingers behind the head. Maybe in the like underneath the ponytail. Yeah lower part of the neck, open up the chest. Beautiful, neck in neutral position, yes. Now press your head onto your hands, open up the shoulders. Did you feel your shoulder stretching? So Fallon, um, head in neutral position, yes. We're going to do this micro muscle movement, inhale, press the head onto the hands. Exhale, release. Focus on the shoulders. Inhale, press the head onto the hands. 
Exhale, release. One more. Inhale, press the hands onto the head. Open up the shoulders. Open up the wings and exhale, release. Slowly crawling in, elbows together, chin towards the chest. One breath here. Really use the weight of the hands to open up the back of the neck. One more in. And exhale slowly, chin up, open up your wings, chin up towards the sky, pressing the hands onto, pressing the head onto the hands. Do you feel your shoulder blades opening? One more in. And out, neck come to neutral position, release the hands, roll the shoulders, feeling the opening of the shoulder blades. The other side, roll the shoulders. Beautiful. Next stretch, tip your fingers onto the side. Inhale, left hands onto the air. Left hip bone sitting down and you really lengthen it up. Straight hands, Valen. Yes, deeply in. Lengthen, exhale, bend the elbows, right, left ears towards left shoulders. Walking the right hands further away, deeply in. You could close your eyes. And deeply out, relax both of the shoulders. Let the right ear sink to the right shoulders. If you want to feel a deeper stretch, Walk the right fingertips as further away as possible in your TP fingers. Our muscles are connected on our neck to our shoulders for one of them. So this is going to give you the deeper stretch. Beautiful. And we're going to do a variation. Inhale, lift the right hand up from 5 p.m., 5 and a half, 4 p.m., four and a half to 3 p.m. Stretch your fingertips further away. Exhale, down, 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 down. Inhale, up, 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 up. Exhale, down, 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 down. Inhale, holding up, 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 up. Up, holding it here, open up the right shoulders. Bring the right hands back as much as you can. Then lower down the hands. One big breath in. Deep, long exhale. Beautiful. Hands back to first position, just next to your hips. Then turn the nose towards the right thighs. Using the hands onto the back of the head, really give yourself the additional pressure to open up the left side. Beautiful. Keep the neck in the same position, release the hands. And I just want you to turn your nose towards the right hips. So even a bigger stretch onto the back of the neck. Slowly with the chin towards the chest, slowly bring the tip of the nose from the right hips to the right thighs, to the middle of the V, to the right thighs and right side. Beautiful, coming back towards the center. Roll your neck out. Then onto the other side, tip your fingers onto the side. Inhale, lift the right hand up. Right shoulders down, straighten up the hands. If you open up the palms, you're going to be able to feel more. Bend the elbows, right ears towards the right shoulders. Walk the left fingertips further away. What's the trick to the deepest stretch? Breath deeply in. And deeply out. Deeply in. And out. 
One more in. And out, use your hands to really give the additional pressure, feeling the length of the left neck and shoulder stretching. Second variation, lifting the left hands up from 7 p.m., 7 and a half, 8 p.m., 8 and a half, 9 p.m. Slowly down, 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 down. Inhale, up, 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 up. Exhale, down, 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 down. One more, up, 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 up. Hold it here. Bring the left hands towards the back. Left shoulders open, open, open. And hands down. One deep inhale. Exhale, walk the fingertips further away. Hands back to first position, neck unchanged. Turn the nose towards your right thighs, using the hands to open up the back of your neck. Pressing the hands onto the head, walking the left fingertips further away in. Send, exhale to the neck. Beautiful. Neck in the same position, release both hands. I want you to now to turn the tip of the toes outside of the right hip. Really feeling the back of the neck. One more in. And out with the chin towards the chest, you move from looking at the outside of the right hip to the right thighs, to our pelvis, chin towards the chest, to our left thighs, to outside of our left hip. Beautiful release. Roll the next side, and then we're going to do the upside. Slowly rotate the head up. Feeling every inch of the neck. Maybe rolling onto the other side. For the next minute, do anything that makes your body feel good. Could be more neck roll, could be rolling out the shoulders. Ask your body, what does it feel good now? What are the things that you need to do? to release any tension. Three more breaths in. And out. In. And out. Beautiful. We are going to do a gentle vinyasa flow just to wake up our body. Then we're going to do more stretches. So standing on top of the mat, feet together, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, open up the hands, circles the hands up to the top of the sky. Exhale, hinges from the hips coming forward. We're going to hold on halfway lift for three breaths. If you know that you have tight hamstring or back, walk the feet hip with this to now. And then hands onto the shin, lengthen the spine. So you are actively pressing the hips back and lengthen the neck, neck in neutral position. Yeah, and you go slightly lower your hands, lengthen the spine. Fallen, I can't see you. Miranda, hands a bit up, maybe tippy fingers. Yes, tippy fingers and press. Use your back. This is really good for your back. I'm using my back, my core to lengthen. Fallen, halfway lift. Hands onto the knees. Not onto the knees. Hands just below the knees. Yes, lengthen the spine. I know this is tough, but this is really good for our back. One more in. 
Exhale, three breath in forward fold. If you want to release your lower back, bend your knees, thighs onto the hips. If you want to work on the hamstring, straighten up the legs. Pick what do your body want. You could also hold on to the opposite elbow, swing left and right. Whatever you feel good, deeply in. And deeply out. Deeply in. And out. Can you gently shake your head no? No to any tension in our body. Yes to new space. Beautiful. Hands onto the mat, step the left feet back. Left knee onto the mat. Making sure your step is big enough. If you want to lessen the pressure, keep the left knee tucked. Like keep the left toes tucked. Yes, hands on it. We're going to stay here for a little while to open up our hips. If you have blocks, put two blocks onto each side. If you don't have, just come to tippy fingers and try to open up the chest. Deeply in. And deeply out. In. And out. One more in and out. Beautiful. Miranda, you will pick up the block. For other people, feet unchanged, walk the hands back. You will pick up the block and walk with your block. Yes. And stretch your right leg straight. Beautiful. Stay here for three breaths. Micro adjustment. Pull the left hip forward, right hip back. We have a um, technique called stretch and release. So you tense up the muscle on the bits that you want to work on and release. We're going to do it here. So we are going to tense up, pull the right hip back. Exhale, release. So you're working on the right hamstring. Inhale, tense the right hamstring, pull it back. Press the right heels down. Exhale, release. One more inhale, stretch, tense. And exhale, release. Beautiful. Walk your hands in onto the front again. Release the hips down. Now, this may be tricky, but let's try. So you're going to lift the left knee up and down. Inhale, tense. Exhale, release. So you are working to open up the left thighs. Inhale, lift up. Point the toes if you can. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release. Beautiful. Relax the body. Now both hands onto the both hands inside. I'm going to move so you can see. Now I'm going to turn my right feet out 45 degrees. So my right foot is pointing out. Yes, when you are here, you're in a lizard pose. You could walk your hands further away, open up the chest. You really want to relax the left thighs and pelvis and right thighs. Or you could come to your elbows, whatever flexibility that your body is allowing you. Deeply in. And deeply out, deepening the inhale. And exhale, beautiful. We are going to come to a downward dog. How do you do it? Hands underneath the shoulders, tuck the left toes, lift the left knee up, directly walk the right feet back or come to downward dog in any way that you can. Deeply in and deeply out. Any press the shoulders down, lengthen up the spine. You're doing really good. 
Miranda, you have improved so much. This is so good. Deeply in. And deeply out. Press the hips up. Thighs back one more in. And out. Look onto the hands. Step the left feet forward. We're coming to the other side. So right knee down, left feet forward. If you have a block, this is where your blocks will go onto the upper, at both sides of the left knee. Yes, lean your right hip forward. Fallen, I can't see you. Deeply in. If you, Fallen, if you want adjustment, can you adjust the camera or go a bit back? And deeply out. Oh, yes, beautiful. Release the hips. One more in. And out. Oh, same thing as we do on the other side. Feet unchanged. Walk the hands back or walk it with your blocks. Stretch the left feet straight pull the left hip back and right hip forward i'll stretch and tense and relax Re release so focus on the left hamstring inhale tense it up pull the hamstring back so ankle the left feet down and pull the hamstring long exhale release inhale pull the hamstring long exhale release Inhale, pull the hamstring long. Right hip forward, left hip back. Exhale, release. Two more. Hamstring long and relax. One more in. And out, walk the body forward again. This time, both hands on the inside. Turn the left toes out 45 degrees. If you know that you have tight hip, another trick is walk this feet further away. Walk the left feet outside of the mat. Yes. Walking the left hands a bit forward to open up the chest. You want to sink the pelvis down. You're opening up the left hip. Our hips is closely related to our lower back. So this would release all the tensions that we have on the lower back. One more in. Release the lower back, release the pelvis more. One more breath in. And out, come back to downward dog. So move your hands tiny bit back. Press your palms onto the mat. Tuck the right toes, right knee up. Then step the left feet back to downward facing dog. Beautiful transition. Deeply in, straighten the back legs, deeply out. You are going to have three more breaths here. One more in and out. Look at your hands, walk your feet next to the hands. Coming to a forward fold. If you want to work on the lower back, bend the knees, hold onto the opposite elbow. If you want to work on the hamstring, fingertips onto the mat and straighten the leg. Pick an option that serve you deeply in and deeply out, deeply in and out. I want you to walk your feet further away, maybe towards the edge of the mat. Then sit down onto a squat. Opening up the chest. Miranda, walk the feet further away. Annie, you're good. Fallon, you're good. Anna, you're good. Yes, and slowly sink it 
down deeply in and deeply out. You know, in order to let go, we need to let go of any judgment towards ourselves. You are beautiful exactly at where you are. If you are already feeling a five, you're going to stay here. If you feel a three, then you're going to come with me. We are going to inhale, hands onto the mat, straighten up the legs. So it's a stretch and release. Um, Technique. Exhale down. Inhale, stretch and tense. Exhale down, come to the squat. You could do it in any pace that you want. So for the next one minute, any pace that you want, just deeply in. And out. In. And out your own pace. Try to alter alternate the speed. See how does it make your body feel? Do you like it slower to feel every single part of the muscle stretching? Do you want it to be really quick and snappy to really feel the release on the hamstring? Whatever you are, one more breath in. And out, straighten up the legs, walk back to down, uh, sorry, walk your feet back to forward fold. Hands onto the mat, feet together, come to halfway lift. Hands underneath the shin, lengthen the back. This is really good back strengthening exercise. You only have the fingertips onto the shin, not the shin, like below the knees. Yeah, Fallon, come lower. Any, you're good, relax. Miranda, you're doing so good. Fallon, straighten up the knee, straighten up the back. Yes, do you see that your back is curling now? We want to straighten it as much as we can. I know it's tough. One more in. And exhale, bending forward to forward fold. Palms onto the mat, step the feet back to downward facing dog. We're going to transit to a child pose for three breaths. Really good job. If you want to, you could massage your lower back or tap it to send some love. One more in and out. We'll set up for happy puppy. So move to the one third back end of the mat, coming to a tabletop. Tuck the toes, knees, um, tuck the toes and hips onto the, on top of the knees. Your hips is not going to move. Just look at the camera first. Just look at the screen first. I'm going to slide my hands down. Don't go yet. Checkpoint one, my hands, it's parallel. So depending on the shoulder flexibility, you want to end up really parallel to the shoulders. This is how you feel the most. If you walk your hands further away, you feel less. So you adjust the intensity. Second checkpoint, my hips does not come forward, does not go back. Try to maintain completely on top. And the most important checkpoint, once you are coming down, you really want to lengthen the, fr the front of the chest and the shoulders. So you will try to first put the forehead onto the mat, but later on walk towards having the shin onto the chin onto the mat. So when you're ready, Tabletop position, check palm one, look at your hands. The more parallel they are, the more intense, then deep inhale. Exhale, slide the hands down until you reach your elbows. Then have the chest down, open up. 
the chest, open up the shoulders. If you can, chin onto the mat. If you can't, just forehead onto the mat. It's beautiful. You want to focus on opening up the shoulders and opening up the chest. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Your goal is to press the shoulders. Give the mat an armpit kiss. Press the shoulders down, feeling the chest opening. One more breath in. And out. You could stay here for two extra breaths. Or if this is too much for you, bend the elbows, hands next to the shoulders, and come meet me in child pose. Deeply in. And deeply down. So sometimes if a certain pose feels good, be my guest. And you're welcome to stay for a bit longer. Everyone will be in their child pose. One more breath in. And out. Beautiful. Slowly walk yourself and sit down onto the mat, grasping the strap with you. A few more um, hamstring stretch. How does your shoulder feel now? Good? My shoulders is like, yeah, all the crackling sound. Okay, what's happening with this? Uh, yes, grab the strap with you. Do you remember the trick to sit up tall and straight? Grab the butt cheek away, press the thighs down. Without the strap, let's do stretch and release. Hands onto the side without uh, weight. Press the thighs down, inhale, press. Exhale, release. Inhale, press, flex the toes. Exhale, release. Inhale, press. Exhale, release. Inhale, press. Exhale, release, and inhale, press, exhale, release. Beautiful. Grab the strap. Inhale, hands up towards the sky, flex the toes, open up the chest. Holding it here, exhale, bring the hands a tiny bit back, feeling this amazing shoulders opening. Then inhale, lengthen back to center again. Exhale, coming forward, 45 degrees. And then hook the pillowcase. Or the strap onto the feet. Notice where your neck is long and straight as where your spine is. Inhale, lengthen, open up the chest. Exhale, bend the elbows, bring the body towards the thighs, belly button towards the thighs. Press the thighs. I'm feeling this amazing hamstring opening, but it's also a really good release for our lower back. Last one, bend the elbows as much as you can, bring the belly button to kiss the thighs and relax, hands up towards the sky. Open up the shoulders, bring it back, and then release. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Second round. Hands on to, hands up. Inhale, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Lengthen the torso, press the sitting bone down. Hands up to the sky. Exhale, coming forward, 45 degrees. Hook the pillowcase or hook the strap. Open up the chest, lengthen the spine. Come, think about 45 degrees forward instead of trying to come. So you come, so you won't round your back, back is straight. Beautiful. Three more breaths. Straighten up your legs if you can. 
deeply and bend the elbows and pull yourself closer. Deepening your inhale and deepening the exhale. Close your eyes, just two more. In, pressing the hips down, feeling the lengthening of the lower back. Why are your hamstring? It's like, yes, I'm having a party. One more in. And I'll release the strap. Just lie down onto the mat. Beautiful, girls. Bend your knees. We are going to just do some simple movement to release our lower back even more. So feet onto the mat. We are going to inhale center. Notice if your neck is long and straight, pull the ponytail so you could lengthen your spine. Exhale, bend both knees onto the side. Inhale center. Yes, Anna, you're right. Exhale, bend it towards the other side. Center, side, center, side, center, side, center, side. Now walk your feet as close to the butt cheek as possible. Do the same move and see how does it change which part of your back is stretching. Do it much slower. Inhale, center. Slowly exhale, drop towards the side. Inhale, center. Slowly exhale, drop to the side. The closer your feet is towards the hips, it's more the mid back. The further away, it's more the lower back. Slowly coming back to the center. Find an experiment with this feet position. Now bring it super far away. Inhale, center. Exhale, drop towards the side. Inhale, center. Exhale, drop towards the side. Inhale, center. Exhale, drop towards the side. Inhale, center. Now pick a position that makes you feel good. The closer it is towards the hip, the more of the upper mid back that you're going to stretch. The further away is the more lower back. Find the sweet spots that feels the best for the body. Inhale, center. Exhale, drop towards the left, look towards the right. Inhale, center, neck back to neutral position, knees back to neutral position. Exhale, drop towards the left, look towards the, sorry, drop the knees towards the right, look towards the left. Inhale, center, neck back, knees back, drop the knees towards the left, look towards the right. Inhale, center, drop the knees towards the right, head towards the left. One more in. And out. Beautiful. Hug your knees towards the chest, roll left and right. Release the lower back. Deepening the inhale. And deepening the exhale. Come to a happy baby. Press the thighs onto the mat. Opening up the hip. You could stay in stillness. You could roll left and right. You could even hold on to use two fingers, the second and the third fingers, hook onto the back toes and straighten the legs. If you want to work on the hamstring, you will straighten the legs. If you want to open up the hips, you will keep the knees bent and, and press down. If you want to work on the lower back, you will roll left and right. Ask your body, what does your body want? Pick an option that feels good to you. Deepening the inhale. And deepening the exhale. 
out. Two more breaths in. And out. One more breath in. And out, coming to floating butterfly, feet together, open up the knees. Just one breath in. And out, hold on to the outer edge of the feet or don't hold. Just strengthen the legs and come to V shape for one breath in. And out, release the body. Coming to Savasana. Relax the feet. Relax the ankle. Relax the calf. Relax the knees. Relax the thighs. Relax the hips. Relax the lower back. Relax the mid back. Relax the upper back. Relax the shoulders, your shoulder blades, your trapeze muscle, your shoulder joints. Relax the top of your the for, for upper arm, the elbows the forearm, the wrists, the hands and 10 fingers. Relax the back of the neck, the front of the neck. Relax your jaw, your cheekbones, soften the eyes, soften the eyebrows. Relax the whole body, Savasana. Letting everything go. We hold on to a lot of tension in our body. From the expectation. From sometimes we blame ourselves or judge ourselves of not being able to achieve something. Letting it go. Your body, it's going to feel lighter when you can just let go of expectation. Your mind is going to feel lighter when there's nothing to expect, nothing to compare to, knowing that you can free yourself by just deciding to let it go. When you let go, you are creating new space in the body. You are creating new space in your mind. You are creating new space in your life. Letting it go so new things can enter to your life. New experience, new value, a new attitude to a new definition of a happy, liberated life. Slowly wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, interlace the hands overhead, give yourself a big, big stretch. Roll towards one side of the body. Slowly push yourself back into a sitting position.
three breaths. Feeling the new energy, inhale. Exhale, letting go of any muscle tension. Inhale, feeling the new energy. Exhale, letting go of any mental tension. One more, inhale, feeling your body with new energy. Exhale, anything that no longer serve you. We are going to sing one Om and Sri Shanti to end the class. Deep inhale. Om Shanti 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 Hands in prayer position in front of our heart. May our heart be filled with peacefulness, gratefulness, and the new space that we have created to, for new things to come into our life. Bowing forward, namaste.